Hello, and welcome to the first video of 2023. Again, apologies for being so far behind on getting a video out this year. Things were crazy from moving to setting up a new studio to the whole nine yards. But one of my favorite things about this new studio is this right here is the Wandered Provoke 21 liters. This is the bag that started the entire journey and to have it up here kind of on display, just, just, just barely touching the frame a little bit there is fantastic. But what you're here for is not the new studio, not anything like that. If you are interested in that, I can absolutely do a video further explaining what's been going on and everything like that. But what you are here for is probably this little guy right here. This is the Alpaca Elements Tech Brief 14 inch. Now I will say off the top, this also comes in a 16 inch. The 14 inch will fit up to a 14 inch MacBook Pro. The 16 inch will fit up to a 16 inch macbook pro but this thing is a fantastic little shoulder bag if you're going down to the coffee shops if you're going to work or if you just need something for your commute carry on whatever it might be this is a very all-around and versatile shoulder bag let's get into it Okay, so for the thing that I know everybody cares about, let's not beat around the bush, let's get right into the materials, hardware, and comfort factor when it comes to this right here. So right off the rip, I will say it does have WeatherGuard YKK zippers that are also lockable on the main compartment, which is fantastic for that extra level of security for those of us that might want it. Also, the material is this nice X-Pack material, which means it's water resistant and can hold up and is pretty darn durable in my opinion. I'm a big fan of X-Pack material and on this bag, coupled with the WeatherGuard YKK zippers, it is absolutely fantastic. And then on the back for the strap, you have this big, gigantic, beefy shoulder strap that comes with a mag lock, which is quick release, which is awesome if you want to just quickly take it off and get to wherever you're going. That is a great function that I do really like that a lot of bags have started implementing when it comes to sling carry is that nice one handed quick release, which honestly for me was a huge lifesaver when I get to my office, I can just quickly release it, put my bag down, take what I need out and I'm good to go. On top of that, this strap is completely removable. You have some alligator hooks here on the back that you can undo and remove this strap completely. And actually the front compartment on this bag can act as a way to store this if you wanted to just have this maybe like just briefcase mode or a one way that I ended up using this bag and you'll kind of see why it kind of works that way is instead of having it as a sling or shoulder bag for my flight, I actually laid this in my travel carry-on bag with a lot of my tech, pretty much all of my tech gear inside, making this a gigantic laptop sleeve slash tech case. And then when I got where I was going, I could easily put this strap on and then it became a daily carry. Please don't use that phrase strap on out of context. One other thing that you do have on the back and the last thing I did not really use this is you do have a uh, protected zipper pocket here that would be flush up against your body, which is great if you have a passport, maybe you're printing out your boarding passes or maybe you want to take cash with you or if you just want that extra layer of security on top of the lockable zippers, you do have this compartment here on the back. I personally did not utilize it, so I can't speak to how well it functions in use, but it is an option there if you need it. Okay, so the two pockets on this bag, you have a nice front pocket, which acts as like a quick access with some minimal storage, and then your main compartment where your laptop and other organization bits are stored. So for this front compartment here, you have two mesh guys on the inside. It's gonna be impossible impossible to show you that because I mean, let's just be honest, like trying to shove a camera down in there, it's not gonna work very well, but you have two mesh guys and then just some open spots in there. For me personally, when I was using this bag, I like to use those mesh guys, one for a wallet. This is the Monarch wallet. I have a link down below to the video that I did. And also I'll link the, I'll put a card to the video and link the wallet. Oh my God, this is my new favorite thing in the world. I love this, go check it out. Love the guys over at Monarch. Big fan of this wallet. Just wanna do a quick shout out for that. And then in the other compartment is where I put my AirPod Pros. I'm not gonna bring my over the ear Sennheiser PXC 550s, this new desk setup. I'm in love with it. There's like a little holster right here for my, when I go to edit, I can just be like, Quitch. but I like to bring these with me pretty much anywhere I go. So that other mesh guy, it's too big for these, but it fits in there. And I like that it, each spot just kind of, I put what I want in there. I don't have to worry about it too much. And then as for anything loose in here, I don't put anything. Sometimes when I'm in transit, I might put my phone in there if I need to. But other than that, those are the two only items that I like to keep in there because I feel like they work the best in that compartment. And then you move on to the main compartment and it unzips and it does this nice fold open, kind of like accordion style here. And one thing you're gonna notice about this bag and probably one of the best features of it 
is the nice bright interior. You got this nice bright orange coupled with some black to outline it and it makes it really easy when you're looking in here to know where everything is because the pockets are clearly marked. You don't have to worry about it being dark inside and honestly it makes it a lot easier. So in here you have a laptop sleeve again with the 14 inch. You can fit up to a 14 inch MacBook Pro. I have a 13 inch MacBook Air and then well, that goes in the laptop sleeve. And then in front of that, you have a tablet sleeve. And this is my iPad. Uh, I got an iPad for Christmas and I'm super excited. I absolutely love this. How come nobody told me how great it is to have a laptop and an iPad at the same time to look at things and then type things. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, so you can fit both those. Now, what I will say is you're not gonna get much bigger than this iPad right here. This is just a Gen 10, nine and a half inch or whatever it might be. Now you can easily fit an iPad Pro in the laptop sleeve, but if you wanted anything bigger for tablet, you'd probably need to go for that 16 inch version. But even then, because I don't have it, I'm not really sure what size tablet you could get. So just make sure that you do your due diligence to look at the size for the tablet. But if you do have smaller than a 14 inch MacBook Pro and a regular iPad, then I do know for a fact it'll fit in these sleeves. However, again, one thing that I was able to do is for my work, I have a 15 inch ThinkPad. Now the ThinkPad doesn't fit in the actual laptop sleeve, but if I just put the ThinkPad in the compartment in front of it, with not in the holster or anything, just put it in that compartment, then I was able to get it to fit. So if you have a 15 inch and you don't wanna quite go to the 16 inch on the version of this, I do know that a 15 inch ThinkPad, which is roughly the same size as a MacBook Pro, will fit in not the laptop sleeve, but just the compartment in front of it. Speaking of the compartment in front of it, you just have a flat zipper that's used for like documents. I never use this. I pretty much just kept my laptop and my tablet back here. But if you do need it right here at the back, there is this little zippered guy for like flat documents. If you're bringing maybe folders for work or maybe again, more flat items that you want. And you're gonna see a recurring theme in this bag that flat items are gonna be your key. You're gonna wanna utilize either the organization or pouches but trying to utilize both isn't gonna exactly go well because this bag does kind of get bulgy if you put too many bulky items inside of it. Then moving on to the front of the bag, you have some extra organization bits. Um, on my left right here is where I like to put my hard drive. It's just a nice little sleeve that fits some larger items. Again, you could fit hard drives, passports, anything really right there fits nice. And then to the right of that, you have a spot for two pins if you wanted to utilize those. And then to the right of that even, is two extra smaller flat pockets that I chose to put in just one of them, my Magic Mouse, because I like to have a mouse with my laptop because it just makes it a lot easier. And that's kind of like the main organization bit on the inside of this first flap is you have one larger small kind of flat item pocket and then to the right of that two others that are just a little bit smaller than that. But again, flat items, anything kind of thicker than a regular hard drive and this is just like a Toshiba one, is gonna make it kind of bulgy because the organization that's in front of that at the most front of the bag is two other larger compartments. Now in one, I put my Go pouch whenever I'm going to the cafe or work. This is full of extra cables, dongles, pins. It's just like a dump pouch of stuff that I might not wanna bring a full tech kit, but this can kind of make do. And honestly, it works really well because then to the right of that is my idea notebook. This is where I write down the TikToks for those Strix. By the way, work for Strix now, doing TikToks, super fun. Um, skincare company for men and everybody because, you know, skincare is important. So I have an idea notebook when I write down videos for YouTube, for Strix, for work, whatever it might be. That fits really well in this other compartment next to that. And honestly, that is it. That is all the organization. You're going to get two larger compartments here at the most front. And then beside that, the other organization right here. Other than that, you're not going to get much. Now, like I said, you're either going to want to utilize things like some thin pouches or maybe just one regular pouch. I recently did the Elements Tech Pouch, I believe it's called from Alpaca. Um, that fits in here really well in this front compartment, but I wasn't really able to utilize some of the other built-in organizations. So I just wanna make sure that you kind of keep that in mind when it comes to organizing and building this thing out. If you have a lot of bulky items, this might not work very well for you. But overall, if those things check your box and you're looking for a good over-the-shoulder messenger bag to kind of take the cafe, to work, daily commute, whatever it might be. I really do think this one's solid, not only because of the material and the durability, but I think it has a good amount of internal organization, as well as being able to hold something like a tablet and a laptop on top of that makes it very versatile. And for me, that is a huge bonus. When a bag can be more than one thing, even in its smallest form, that is a huge bonus, especially the fact that I could use this as a large tech kit 
with my stuff in it right inside my travel bag. And the bag that I was using was the Gravel Travel System, which is a 42 liter giant empty chasm of a bag. I'll throw a card up if you're interested in it. One of the best bags I've used to just like kind of put stuff in, just like a big dump pouch. It's great for car travel, especially. This laying in there right on top, even though it does have its own laptop sleeve, was perfect and honestly really ideal, especially when you're on the go as much as I am. Something like that can make a huge difference. So with all of that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the Alpaca Elements Tech briefcase, 14 or 16 inch, because honestly, the only thing that changes is the size. The internal organization, everything is the same, just the size changes. But let me know down in the comments below and I'll happily answer any questions you might have there. Or as always, you can shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com, where I'm happy to provide more lists, photos, videos, or anything you might need to help with your decision making about any bag or product I've reviewed on this channel all the way back to the very beginning. Uh, thank you guys so very much for all the love and support you continue to give this channel and being very patient with me on getting a video out and i apologize yet again for the wait but there's a lot of cool things coming the next video on wednesday will be just kind of describing what's going on and what's to come but with all of that being said don't forget to like subscribe and all that wonderful nonsense and i will see you next time